I've been collecting for about uh, four years now, I would say, so I started off small, and over the years I've been collecting more, more, more. Now I'd say I probably have around 1,200. It's just for the physical connection to music, but on a deeper level, most people that grew up in like the 80s, 70s, 90s, they, they always had record players, they, and they would view it as like your grandma's way to listen to music. It was uncool. The second cassettes came around, everyone was ready just to ditch record. Everyone wanted to get away from it. But to us younger kids that are just now like being born, I guess, we've never seen record players before. To this, to us, it's like a futuristic alien technology. But to all the older people, it's just a bygone thing from the bygone era. This was first released. It was about literally like $10 in the corner of a, any old store because it was the only way to listen to music. But as time went on, the price dropped, 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 because re records were dying. And then over time, it's on a steady rise again up to where we are now, where now this is, goes for like 30 or 40, which is crazy considering this was just like your grandpa's trash back in the day. But if you're just into like music history, then it's, it's perfect for you. Well, I think the value is, you know, as far as, collecting records it's just like it's a hobby you know and a lot of people are addicted to it and i think the value is just to make you feel good you know music makes you feel good when you get your hands on a record you're excited to go home and listen to it and you know it's just uh fun when you find an album you've been looking for especially like on a you know older vinyl or something if you're starting to get into record collecting it can kind of be a cool thing to like not go out and spend a lot of money on one, go out and like crate dig, you know, that's what they call it. Like just looking through like old stuff you never even heard of. Um, just like weird stuff, maybe flew under the radar. Uh, so, you know, some of the most fun I've had with it has been like going to just like my local shop or like a place downtown even that I've never been to and going and seeing what they have, like just the different stuff that you never know what you're gonna find at a record store. It's like, it's kind of cooler than buying it online. It's cooler than listening to music on your phone. It's a way of just like, getting out in the community and it's like a social experience. And it's kind of, it's cool.